Hey everybody! Welcome. It's uh, Monday, May twenty third, twenty twenty two. We're live right now, and you're watching a brand new episode of the Heffern and Reap Show. My name is John Reap. I'm half of the Heffern and Reap Show. What is the Heffern and Reap Show? I'll tell you what it is. Two winners, baby, of Last Comic Standing. Two journeymen. Two road dogs. Two lovers of the 1980s. No politics. No pandemics. No Putins. Just pure pleasure and maybe some promo codes. That's it. Uh, but let me introduce, you know, I'm only half of it. And we got the dude live right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome John Heffron right now. There he is. What if I, since, since I'm actually physically, just to make you feel uh, like this is a normal Heffron and Reap show, what if I just <laughs> yeah. started, started talking? Oh, yeah, yeah. You just randomly. Fr <laughs> there it is. <laughs> No, you don't have to hit the laugh button. <laughs> Just funny. applause from time to time. That was nice. A good instinct. Nice. Uh, Elliot, the intern, uh, sitting off camera uh, with the sound effects, uh, brought you into town. Yeah. Now, normally you're zooming in from Detroit mm -hmm. area. Ish. 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 Michigan. Yeah. Somewhere on the on the hand. I just, you, you know, it's weird because we, we hardly are ever physically next to each other. I just realized even our minute we've been on on here, how much I stare at myself while we're doing the show. Right. So this is weird that I'm, I'm just not, present yeah. and having it instead of I'm looking like, oh, look at my face. Do these glasses. <laughs> it's weird. It is weird. I think this is better, though, because you're right. It, Normally, I am distracted by looking at what I look like. And I'm, and yeah. I'm listening to you. And I'm also like, I look. Yeah, I do the same thing. I got look it up here. But now phone. now it's just me and you. And there's nothing on the screens as of yet. Although we have things to share with you, Got a lot. lots to go over. You flew in today from flew Michigan. In. I was in to Travis Asheville. City, Michigan, uh, all weekend, and then uh, drove home, and then flew here to Ash. Oh, uh, uh, we're in Hickory. No, so you flew from. Uh, I want. How many flights did you take today? Two. Uh, Detroit, uh, to, Charlotte, to uh, Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. Atlanta. And then Atlanta to uh, here. Asheville. Yeah, and there's a guy next to me. Shout out to the guy in in uh, 12B. I uh, had the window. He would do this thing. He had a, a Kindle. And oh. then he would do this thing. He'd go like this. Uh -huh. And then he'd take it. And then he'd rub... He rub his whatever was on his finger. He'd rub it on his pants leg. Oh, no. But he was doing this every... Five seconds. Like he's saving it? And then he'd go like this and then rub it on his pants leg. And why, before we, we landed, he took his pants leg and he wiped it. He wiped the, the pants leg. And I go, dude, you just wiped all your teeth junk onto my computer bag. Did you say it to yeah, him? Yeah, 100%. Because <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't even look at him. I was just looking this way because every time I look... Oh, no. And then he'd wipe. Is this on the flight from Atlanta to? It was whatever coming to Asheville. It's yeah. Atlanta. I, I was getting mental. So that's all the getting... plaque and earwax. And he'd wipe he it on his it leg. On you. And then he would flick it. Then when his leg got too crusty, he, oh. he'd, he'd flick it. What did he say when you said, dude, uh, your teeth crust is. He told me to relax. That never works. Yeah. So I'm just you like, can't tell oh, let's just go back to masks. Yeah. Let's go back to masks and nobody. In the what did this guy look like? I mean, were you worried about a physical confrontation? <sighs> no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. So describe him physically. He looks like a, looked like a professor mm. at a disheveled professor. Okay. That like would carry all his notes oh, yeah. and like books a, like this. Uh-huh. And would not, wear like not, a sweater mm -hmm. with a suit jacket over the sweater. And then, uh, like, an Oxford shirt underneath with a tie, but none of it's tucked in. And then kind of khaki pants yeah. that has a belt that's, like, cinched way, way <laughs> too. And right. then... Like, his pants are too big, but he's got them pulled And those in. shoes, those older guys, I mean, they're our age, but those those shoes where you don't have socks, they're, they're flat almost. Yeah. They're like Keds. Yeah, yeah, some dudes yeah. like to wear those, like... Those Keds and Keds, I don't want to be gender or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're they're kind of, they're female shoes to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Keds with the little white, you know. I think I know what you're talking. You about. You must have put the Reebok 
like aerobic oh, shoes. Right. So they're, they're they're going for comfort and not fashion. And then he would. Hold I've noticed this his, about like the smart people. He, like, would, he would hold his uh, and he and held his iPad like this. His Kindle. Oh god. And he would just wipe it. So every time, like I fall asleep, I, I have the grip man. I made it in a Dell uh, soundtrack thingy. I'm out by song four. Like okay. I have it mastered. Oh. I put it on, fell asleep, and then I woke up to that, and I just I had to keep learning. So I landed. <sighs> Those people, I don't understand, real quick, like, the smartest people you know sometimes are the least hyg- hygiene type. And then and then the dumbest people are the least hygiene. You know what I mean? Like, what is it about, like, the or middle, the middle too, IQ like, people are pretty good at hygiene? Or, uh, or maybe my problem is I'm too... Well, I'm not blaming you for this. No, no, but I'm too self-aware where, where I care. I'm constantly... Th- Thinking, what are people thinking? Which is maybe not a way to live, mm-hmm. right? The, the guys are picking his teeth and. Well, you, look, we're comedians. We observe. It's what we do. It's our job. The only other time I got that mad, there's a guy at like an American Lounge or uh, or Delta, whatever, and they usually have like that, you know, those little sandwiches or cheese or whatever. And a guy had a toothpick, and there was a TV right above the where your food is and he was picking his teeth mm. watching the TV sh- whatever was on the news but every, but the food and everything was pretty close <laughs> to picking teeth <laughs> oh right so you, you, and all you saw was him going on yeah. your food just yeah, and, I, and I said I, I told him I go uh, what I, whatever I said not a good place to stand <laughs> and then he gave me I admire that you say stuff because I, yeah. I see it, and I always go like, okay, in my brain, I play it out. I'll say something, he's going to say something, I'll get mad, he'll get mad, and maybe we're going to fight, and then maybe I'll go to court and lose all, uh, everything I've worked for. <laughs> That's why I fast And then the, the lady, I didn't even know this was the thing, I, the woman next to me uh, opened up on one of one of flights, they opened up her uh, iPhone. Earbuds. Earbuds. Yeah. But a thing popped in, up on my phone. Saying oh, you want to share connect. audio. Oh, okay. <laughs> so when you I share the podcast, dude. So w- when I went that, uh, uh, what what I start playing uh, what was the last song. Sorry, it was um, <laughs> it was a Winnie the Pooh song because I'm oh, trying to learn Winnie the Pooh voice still. That's right. And she goes like this. She, she starts looking around, and it, I literally have a song That's from so the funny. Winnie the Pooh soundtrack. And she has no idea where the music's coming from. <laughs> oh, this is... And oh, then I go, did you... Oh, it's I, an audio bomb. There's a photo bomb? I this go, is an audio I go, bomb. Can you hear? And she looks at me. I go, are you listening to Winnie the Pooh? And she takes her ears out and goes, where's that coming from? I go, <laughs> I think it's coming from my phone. And then she goes, how, how am I hearing your oh, man. your stuff? But it's a new feature. To say, like She opened it and said, you want to share? You can multi-listen to audio. Now. That's pretty cool. Which is cool. Just it, on it, its own. That's, I love that. Because if, if you're, you're watching a movie or together, something, and, yeah. and you can't. Yeah, because you always see people splitting earphones, yeah. going right, and it's just kind of. They got to lean in. But I like this. This this sounds like the beginning of like a uh, Hallmark Channel love, you know, like a love story. Some guy on a plane again. She was in 12 C. She was in 12 B. What is this crazy podcast I'm hearing in my their audio got mixed up and their line, their hearts came. (laughs) Yeah, it was dude. It's uh, yeah, that's a thing. I never even saw that feature, but so so, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Hey, uh, Jody, remember this for when we're flying together pretty soon. That's pretty cool. I don't. Those are mine, by the way. No, no, these are mine. These are mine. This whole time I thought you were handling my, I was like. No. He's here talking about I've hygiene. done this with Michelle, where I think she draws hearts, hearts on hers now. Heart, on that thing with what? Uh, some marker. Oh, yeah. Oh, so she knows it's hers. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, you need stickers or something like that. Because yeah. even though we're married and you do all the everything is one and whatever, you don't you don't take somebody else's headphones. That's just a rule. That's like the uh, like fourth commandment. Yeah, she. Uh, we also have on uh, in our house. We bought these light bulbs that are Bluetooth. Yes, it's, it's a pain. Now these. you can lose the password to your light bulbs and not have a way to sign on to change. Someone the light. can hack your light bulbs. Somebody can hack it, but you can play. So I'll walk into a room and turn on a light, and then I can hear what she's playing. Uh-huh. It'll just start coming through the light bulb. It's interesting. My buddy, our buddy, Brent Blankney, uh-huh. has a bit about getting busted watching adult content. Uh, because of the Bluetooth was hooked up, he was in a separate room with the door shut. Opened up the laptop, was ready to enjoy himself, played it, and the 
speaker in another room was playing the audio, and that's how he got busted. I know somebody this happened to. It wasn't me. It was not me. But with uh, Apple TV, if you go from your phone or computer to Apple TV, mm-hmm. there's a setting. But if you have two Apple TVs going on in your house, mm-hmm. it'll it'll broadcast to whatever screw all of them. <laughs> oh. if, if you don't unclick a certain box, yeah. And that guy's uh, wife or girlfriend uh, was right in front of the other TV and watched everything he did on his phone. And it was oh. all, it mirrored his phone. Yeah, it mirrored, so yeah. Every site he went to, every app he opened. The, what, for every, how long? Like a just, weekend or just, just, a, just for the five the, hours? Just or, however. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not good. Um, but, so I want to hear about your trip. From because I our intern who's sitting over here off camera I don't know Alan are you are you going to him on the camera or no okay there he is he's sitting right there that's Elliot the intern um, thank you for picking up John Heffern at the airport now you're checking comments yes, yes sir. okay so um, we can read comments from last week I, I do want to do that because I want you guys to know we're paying attention to what you're saying yeah. but now that we're here I'm not seeing comments happening so we're gonna have to. We're gonna to have to rely on Elliot to, uh, you know, give me feedback uh, in terms of the audience and that kind of stuff with what they're saying. Anything hilarious going on? But I'll read some comments from last week, uh, dude. We got people from Australia watching us. Karen Griffiths, your screen's over here, John. Oh, jeez. Karen Griffiths says, "Hey, from Australia." Put the Australian flag up. Good eye, mates. Karen, love to have you. Uh, Scott Reese. Cutting boards, red and green for Christmas, dude. Have you thought of this, John? Uh, have not, but we were thinking about this because the cutting board business is popping it's off, as they say. Crazy. It's um, we're thinking about doing um a Christmas in July where we take all the orders for the rest of the year in one month, and we tell everybody, and you, you get it before Christmas, mm-hmm. and then that way we're not trying to catch up every week. We just we're shutting it down. So. Whatever we get in 30 days, we'll That's figure it. out how to do it for the rest of the year. Can you please dress up like the toy, uh, like the like the, uh, the the elves on that one Christmas movie when you do it? Yeah. Uh, Make a video. You know what I'm talking about? The, yeah, I did one video. I did an I'll 80s I'll be the redheaded video. one that wants to be yeah. a dentist. <laughs> I did an 80s video of me just dancing. Oh, like, I, oh, <laughs> we should have prepped. Uh, we could. Do you have it? I'll get it lined up. Okay, yeah. start looking for that. It, I kind of what what happens on this. By the way, I liked it because I like it when you're animated. I like it when you get physical. <laughs> right. Cause, well, cause, I just love the theme song so much, and I had bigger plans. I wanted to do a whole scene. Michelle was going to be like by the lockers, holding a cutting board like oh, a trapper keeper. That would have been great. Do, but we could do more. I just love yeah. the theme song so much. Yeah. Um, who wrote? I mean, you wrote it, but who sang it? Is that a five? A five person. Yeah. You know, I got my thing. But so, but it's very eighties medley, which um, if, if I could talk about the trip here real quick. All right, hang on. <laughs> can we can we do a couple? Uh, pause. Pause yeah. on the comments. Let's go to yeah. <clears throat> this. Just in, I want to hear about the ride from Asheville to Hickory with our intern Elliot, who yeah. loves he loves metal. He loves metal. We were talking about. What he, kind of car does he drive? I forgot. Uh, Elliot, what do you drive? Uh, Nissan Sentra. Nissan. Sentra. What year is this? Two thousand nine, I think. Two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. I don't know if you noticed, uh, Elliot. Uh, you have zero gas. Didn't stress me out at all, knowing we we're forty miles away and your gas tank was saying you had eight miles <laughs> Over left. Over an hour. So there was that. Well, you told uh, me. Also, you have a low pressure uh, symbol <laughs> going on in one of your tires, or the it was either the engine light, but I think it was a low pressure. Okay. That's a low pressure. Um, <laughs> it's, and then it's, it's not accurate. Yeah. No. The, I mean, listen. In none of this, I'm not saying because I don't appreciate the pickup or the ride. Just please know I'm not being. I'm just. I'm being. <laughs> Observation. He observes things, right. and he told me not to stop for gas because of time. So, yeah. mm-hmm. oh, that is true. Right. I, I did tell him. I go, listen. I go. We have limited time, mm-hmm. but I, I'm just going there. to need Arby's. So we gotta. Can I say something real quick? Yeah. Um, why not put gas before we pick up? John oh, Hefford? I did, but it's way up the mountain and back. So this this was like when you know. By but the time it, we got it, back to Hickory. you could have done the. If, why didn't you fill up the tank? Because I you barely have a made credit it, card. Yeah, I barely made it in time. Oh, I see. You know what I'm saying? You're on a time crunch to get there. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Yes, so then, yeah, so then he goes, and there's a huge accident, apparently. He goes, can you reroute us so we can get back there quicker? We got we to skip 40 or something. So what? I, I, I type it no, in 26. Ways, and then 
You didn't take 40? Yes, uh, on 26, a truck had jackknifed badly oh, into the, yeah, the course. So here's what you need to get, Elliot. Just, uh, I'm, I'm going to throw a lot at you here. Okay. <laughs> you need to give a, get him a, a, a holder so he can have his phone that's just right in front of him. Okay. So yeah. uh, he doesn't have to reach into his cargo pants to get it every time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's tough when you're sitting down to get the cargo pants. In the cargo pants. Because pa- you never go to the right pocket. No, you know? it's, it's like you feel it vibrating. It's basically at your knees. I don't know if the, if the, if the yeah, phone's <laughs> out my balls or in the cargo pants or my back pocket. <laughs> yeah. So there was that going on. Yeah. And then he's got some uh, one ringtone. I don't know who these are signed for. That is uh, beyond, it, it's jarring. <laughs> Like okay. when you hear the ringtone, you just you're not. I don't know how you're in a good mood to answer the phone. Do you have certain ringtones for certain people? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, oh. he, he's referring to the dead daisies, though. The dead daisies. Yes, you can uh, call who was calling you? Uh, Who's the dead daisies? Oh no, well, that's pretty much everybody. Uh, the the gentleman that owns uh, Amos's South End was calling me. Uh, okay. Now, <laughs> what am I when I call you? Uh, same thing. Oh, so everybody's dead daisies. Yeah, pretty much. All right. All but two yeah, so then, so, so then we go, and again, I'm not, I'm not being an a-hole here. I'm just telling what happened. So, so we were rerouting, so I go out of ways, and then I go to put my phone somewhere where you can kind of, you know, like, like it's 2022, like a place where your phone would go. Um, and I go, well, I don't have an adapter, so I'll just hold the phone. So as I was driving... I had to take my hand and I put my hand like this. What, you were driving? No, why, why he was driving, oh. but I had to lay back and I was holding the phone just straight up. For him? For like, like, being, so he could see? So he could see the way. <laughs> so then. <laughs> what <are you> <laughs> so, I thought you were talking about your phone, like you were doing stuff on your phone. You're holding his I'm holding phone. The, well, for, so you looked up ways for him on your phone. Yeah, and then I'm holding, show and then I'm holding the phone, and I'm like, I could do this. I go, but my wife's getting off work, and it was the first day. I'm going to have to take a phone call, so I'm going to have to move the phone uh. to have the thing. So we'll use this just enough to, to get out. And then <laughs> I said, well, do you have an adapter, uh-huh. right? Charger, yeah. And he, the adapter he pulled out. Remember the ones like you, you convert a uh, CD player to cassette? It was almost same level <laughs> yeah, okay. of technology. Was it, right. Almost mm-hmm. like, yeah, I don't have a BlackBerry. I can't do anything. What, with what phone do you have? What, like a Samsung. Sam, there it's you the, the, the thing that you plug your earphones into. Yeah. But there haven't been earphones iPhone. on a phone. And, anyway, so, but, but it was fun. And then <laughs> we're driving, it's raining crazy bad. So it's scary. Yeah. Like it, it, you, you couldn't even see uh, the car in front of you. Um, oh, yeah. It's, and then you kind of all the... And it's windy. Those crazy... So I was doing that thing where you hold up on the handle. Yeah. Right? And yeah. then yeah. I went... Uh, you know, I'm I, I, sorry. I just kept looking to see how many cars were behind us. If we're going slow... Well, how fast so, was he? What, what lane was he in most left. of the time? Left. He was in the left, left lane most lane. of the time. Were you passing it, people or you just... Uh, no. No. <laughs> we were maintaining well because it was raining he so did hard. point out because he, yes. he started he started to, to see i was starting to stress a little and i kept doing that looking back just to what, see what we, uh, that if we're leading the parade what's the plan yeah <laughs> like like and then i i said something like well we're not in a rush we can just kind of whip over to the right lane and just kind of kind of you know I, yeah, I have a- and then he goes well i'm doing this in case the cars in front of me spin out i have enough room to get out of the way that's the plan that's why i asked what is the plan why are we over here in this lane going but there is a a concrete wall immediately to the left of us that's true so the right kind of seems like more of a plan because that way you're just hitting a tree i didn't say it's a good plan but i knew there was was a plan plan. he had a plan and (laughs) and, and once he told me then i felt like the need to go okay i I get who am i (laughs) so then i just opted to i'm like i'm just gonna go to sleep oh good so then i go what um, I was wondering what the conversation was like too. He tra- uh, super good, s- super <laughs> nice. But I literally just got off the flight, so I, you know, we, we were talking about maybe last time I was here. He's got a show coming up um, uh, somewhere. Uh, you showed me your phone case, which I forgot. Your biggest pain, pain in the ass. Uh, shout out to her. Uh, <laughs> that's the thing. Uh, I learned about that, and then um, I don't know. What, I don't know about this. He you asked me. Oh no! Then he to, here's where I thought uh, mentally I'm having some decline. He goes, "So what was the last movie you saw?" And I was driving, to, and I'm like, "I don't what? I don't, <laughs> what movie?" Um, I, go, I don't know, man. I go, Why is this a quiz? I don't really know what movie. I couldn't. And for like ten minutes after he asked, I was just thinking to myself, "I don't know what what movie. movie. Like what? Because right. you watch." 
I can watch something at home. Series or documentaries yeah. or the stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. That's true. Yeah. I, I don't so watch. Anyway, so then I yeah. go. <laughs> okay. Please. I go, uh, and, and I'm doing a <laughs> audio visual. I go, play whatever music you want. I'm, I, I, you know, drove yesterday. I'm, I'm super tired. I'm just going to close my eyes for a second. The Arby's is kicking in. Just play whatever you want so that way yeah. you're in it. <laughs> That's where you screwed up. You told Elliot to choose what he wants. Are you so going to play I'm, what he plays? I'm thinking. No, no. <laughs> Are you sleeping, John Heffron? So I know you got a corporate gig. I, I, I literally, I'm like, play whatever you want, thinking we're going to go. He's like, do you like classes? And it was, it was yeah. literally that. And then. You just chill out back here. Yeah. <laughs> Kill your mama, hate your daddy. Uh, hold on. Hey, you, always, forever. Want to thank you. Tr- flesh and blood, I never. Uh, get up, saying, get, uh, what, what band is this? Is this white push, Pushing Up Daisies? Oh, White He's Snake. Playing, so I'm sleeping, and I'm hearing this, and the whole time, I'm listening to it. A couple times he played the same song, maybe three times in a row, Two where times. my brain was going, I was, dang, is he just hitting on this on repeat? Yeah. This is like torture just like, tactics. Like this is what they do to torture people. <laughs> but then, they play the same but song over awesome. and over. So again. I'm just sleeping, and I kind of I'm like, again, I said I will listen to whatever you want, so <laughs> I, I, I can that. sleep during anything. But I'm like, I'm you know, I'm a guy from the '80s. I, he said, want to hear White Snake, and I was listening to singers. I'm like, I do not recognize any, any of these, these any of these songs. songs. Like you ever know here? You That's know, true. Here I come. So then I asked him. I go, was this off their greatest hits? He goes, no, it's their new one. And my uh, first thought was, yeah. Who listens to the White Snake <laughs> new one? But then, like, how new? I thought he would yeah. say 89, right, 90 right. is the last time. He's like, 2019. Right. He goes, it came out a year ago. And I go, they sound exactly like a band that was from 1984. Oh, and oh good. It, but it, but it, it sold me on it because if you like music from the 80s and don't want to keep listening to... Stuff you've heard a billion times. Oh. I'm 100 percent downloading so, that awesome. album. There you go. Yeah, that's what he does. It's very like. You know, <laughs> uh, I do that though. I I hear songs <laughs> that I like. If I'm on a road trip, I'll mm-hmm. I'll, I'll hit repeat. Oh yeah, and just keep playing the same song over and over. Let, again. let me ask him why the repeating of the song. Uh, just uh, there, there are a couple on there that are really well. They're all really good. That's what I was telling. No, his same cool. bangers. So, they're, they're, they're all, all this whole album is bangers. That's what I said. Yes, but there are a couple that are Follow even up better. And mash. <laughs> yes, right? but uh, and uh, but a couple of them are even better than the rest. So I just listen to them twice. Okay, yeah. so that was a, a conscious decision on your part, of to, course, to listen to the same song two or three times. I sometimes I listen to the same song twenty times in a row with other people. <laughs> no, just by myself. Yeah, yeah. Well, you were. You had oh, a, ha, ha. Yeah, well, I thought he was. A, I thought he part. was asleep. Yeah. Oh. And just so you know, I'm, I'm going to let David Coverdale know that you uh, downloaded this. So. Oh, good. Oh. Yeah. No, I, I, that's I, interesting because I've, I've I've liked White Snake. I have yeah. no no idea mm-hmm. they have a new album. I, I, Dude, I mean, maybe I'll check it, it out. It's that very. It's like. I mean, it sounds like '80s rock, like you think. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's got a great voice, mm-hmm. David Coverdale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does this thing, and he goes, oh, he he does oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> after every. That's why I didn't know if it was really because I even had to ask. Ellie, I go, are all these guys still alive? Like, is this or is this like White Snake? But the lead singer is twenty. Right. You know how they do that? Like, you go see the yeah, Temptations, yeah, yeah. They got a new guy, and they're like all thirty years old. Right, like, this math doesn't work out. I just watched the whole Kiss Kissery documentary the series. It was really good because you know they had different members of Kiss coming in and out yeah. with the different face paint and all that stuff. So I know what you're saying on that, but. I would, I would, I would like to. I wonder if they make music videos. Are they still making music videos? Yes, sir. Because we got to get Tony Katane. Is she alive? No, she no, died. sir. Ah, oh, damn it. She died. Uh, my apologies, everyone. I didn't know. We deep fake it, put her on oh, like somebody else's. Yeah. But yeah, that was a legend. So that, so, so <laughs> hearing, hearing, hearing that stuff, um, is exactly what I did a um a jingle for the cutting board business. Oh, here we go. And it sounds almost the same. And then I shot a video. I I pre-did the video. I should have put some more time in it, but I was just messing around with... Well, you were doing this video not knowing what the music was going to sound like? No, I didn't know. I just shot the video. That's pretty good. I just shot the video. It was synced up? Not bad. (laughs) I would have known that. Yeah, no. I would have played it better, but you know how you just get over something? Like, okay, I've spent too much time. It's a cutting board video. I don't need to spend more time. But the jingle will be in your head. 
nonstop. Let's play it. The Alan Jackson, whenever you uh, This is the, the best cutting boards.com. Right here. Yeah, check this out from my buddy John Heffron. Detroit boy, Rock City. Check this out. Mm. Mm -hmm. The pants, the jacket, the hair. No, this is what I love. Like, so you see, so I like it when you get animated. There's a Service! <laughs> right there, yeah. <laughs> Your kitchen will roar? Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I had no idea that you were not listening to the music at the same no, time. No, no, I did. I want to know about the wig. I bought, I had the mullet. You, I've had those parachute pants now for years and years. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, and those are legit parachute pants. Parachute you, pants these, the, from the company Parachute Pants. I'm going to tell you, that's going to be a hit on the cruise that you're oh. doing, the Sea Amigos cruise. That's going to be a hit because we have an 80s karaoke night. I'm going to wear that. But I also, I also did a video with my uh, high school varsity jacket. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just look tired because I have lockers in my office, so I was trying to do all uh, high school stuff. But the members nice. only jacket works. You have one. Heck, yeah. I have a black one. Yeah, yeah. similar to yours. Um, the Alan Jackson, let's read the other comments real quick. And, and the bestcuttingboards.com. The bestcuttingboards.com. The bestcuttingboards.com. Get your cutting boards. Uh, if there's anything that's very interesting and comment-wise, let us know. All right, that was from Scott Reese was asking about the cutting boards. Red and green. We knocked that one out. What's the next one, the Alan Jackson? Jacob Stierk. He says, I'm seriously waiting for Reap to say, whammy, when we were doing the uh, fake uh, infomercial guys, you know, the oh, knife guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, I sounded like the guy from Anchorman, the sports guy. Uh, oh, it? yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, who's champ? Saying, champ. Champ. Yeah. yeah, apparently I sound like champ, so <laughs> that's, I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, thank you, Jacob. Uh, another one, Scott Reese again says, I call it your passionate hustle. I think the word hus hustle bugs me because it's, it's yeah. almost getting too trendy. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind the word passion or passionate, but it does sound feminine or like a fruit or, you know. Side gig. Yeah. You know, gigs or comics. Gig. Gigs. Mm. Yes. Passion gig. So let's do I this. Here's some homework. Try to throw the word gig in there. Let's not use hustle. Maybe another word for passion. I don't know. I'm not crazy about the passion part. Side gig. Sidekick. Side gig. I don't know. Brainstorm some more. We're not done with this. We don't have a guest today, but you know how it is. Um, is that all of them? The Alan Jackson? Is there one more? Shane Flint. He said, I did an unboxing video for your cutting board, John Heffern. Did I you would, know this? I've not seen it. I haven't seen this either. I haven't seen it either. Shane, where yeah. is it? I, we did, you didn't tag us in it. I didn't see it. To, you know, either share and tag because we won't see it unless you tag us. Um, but keep an eye on Shane Flint's comment over there, uh, Elliot, and let us know if he says any, gives us a link to that. Um, thought, Nikki Van, pronounce this name, John Heffern. Can you read it? Can you see it? Hammer. Vicky Van, this is my biggest fair. Hammer. Yeah. Uh, just the name. Just don't worry about the comment. Just focus Hammer on Rigic. Hemmer Rogeric. Rogeric. Like, if you were introducing that person, if Nikki was a comic and you're doing like a hosting and you had to introduce uh, what my trick, I would go like this. Ladies and gentlemen, we keep the show going. We're very excited. Please welcome to the stage, Nikki Van Hemmer. Yeah, walk away from the walk mic. Walk away from the mic. You, yeah, so you go. As you're going. Mm -hmm. so that That's way. a great trick. Yeah. Well, Have you ever had anybody forget your name? Yeah. Your name's pretty easy. Oh, I've heard Reed. You know, I've had people blank, literally say, I don't know who I'm I'm up. sure it's happened I just, at the comedy store, definitely, because, you know, everyone's doing 15 yeah. minutes and they, they blank. Well, this Nikki person says, you won funny redneck. I love your stand up. Please come to Belgium soon. Another one from Belgium. So we got Belgium. We got Australia. Yeah, dude, we got people tour. from everywhere. Do they have bowling alleys out of that? We could do a. Yeah, do you have bowling alleys bowling? in Belgium? Uh, uh, Belgium one more. I think we might have one more. Uh, maybe that's it. Okay, yeah. it's it's fine if it is. Yeah, I think that was it. All right, good deal. So welcome to Hickory. I'm glad you're doing a corporate gig for Sheets, the Sheets. Uh, 
the the company that yeah. uh, the gas station play. I've done that as well. Um, that's a good gig, dude. Congrats. I saw on my you, you usually when you do corporate events you get a um, like a sheet a run a show is what they call it in the business a, a sheet. So you <laughs> see all everything going on and maybe they want so I'll leave out everything, but it just says my name. <laughs> Should I show you this? Sure. Is it funnier for you to read it? Look, Look it up in the comments. I don't want Shane Flint said that he hasn't posted it yet. Is why you're not able to uh, see okay. it. Okay. Well, Shane, we can't wait to see this video that you did for John Heffern's cutting boards. <laughs> anyway, so for my uh, uh, show of uh, or my show, they have um, it says disclaimer intro, and then John Heffern. What is that? It says disclaimer. What does that mean? Intro. Disclaimer. So I wonder if I now if you do a corporate event, if you get introed, if there's a disclaimer, just to say, hey, this this guy might say something. Oh, you know what I mean, just oh, so wow. the corporations like the, don't the, get in the trouble. The opinions and views of our comedian do not reflect the. That's uh, what I mean, because it literally I, I can't find it now, but I, I won't. But it said dis in things it said disclaimer intro. Huh. Oh, well, let me know. That's interesting. If that's the, the that could be the way of the world with all the crap that's going on. You know, Chappelle getting attacked, yep. Chris Rock getting slapped, people saying things that are too. You know, I could see that happening now. Yes, mm. yes. Oh no. Oh, well, what? Some some people said some things about his cutting board also, but that's neither yeah. here nor there. Well, that's great. Um, Wait, we're not right. here or there. Were they Was good? It, yeah, yeah. Oh yes. Now you that, can't that, leave it I like got that. My, we got we got our first uh, kind of like. PO'd customer thing. Post office boxed? Post office boxed. Uh, where, <laughs> you got where pissed off? Somebody did one, you know, an email saying, you know, I ordered the cutting board for Mother's Day and it's not here. Advise. Oh. And it was like two weeks. Yeah. So. So you guys are back, back order. No, but we sent them all off, but I, but I wanted to go, hey. Oh, it just dude, took two weeks. We're, we're not. Yeah, but we're not Amazon. These right. are literally handmade. Yeah, you have and to you, have you patience, get to them. So, so I literally put all over the website now. Minimum two weeks before we even start your order. Yeah. And you'll probably get it within three. But relax. Go to Bed Bath & Beyond. Like there's part <laughs> of you where you go, do you want to have good customer service? Or do people like respect what you're doing? Like yeah. I get it. Yeah. If you if people order it and they get no because I can't figure out how to send an email that says hey it's on your way, oh, right. you, <laughs> so you don't see an email until we ship them. Yeah. So if you if you give one hundred forty bucks or whatever, yeah. and you see no info right. for three weeks, I get that. Right. Yeah. So we so we threw. In Can some I say something coasters. to our good our guest that we had, Jer Jeremy London? Just, yes. I, I haven't got my pepper yet. Oh. <laughs> He's probably doing the same thing. I know. Send him an email. To go, please advise. <laughs> advise. I'm not PO'd or anything. <laughs> I just, I'm curious. Are we waiting for the peppers to sprout? I mean, he had some peppers, probably ready to go. I, I'm not worried about it. I just want to. How long to ago was that, though? See, I, I'm, I ordered it the next day. So, how long ago was that? We're at a month. That's borderline. Like, we're. I'll follow up with him. Yeah. I'm sure I'm the least. <laughs> You know he's got real customers. I, you know, you I'm want, not worried. You want about he's good. It. Thank you. Uh, no, no, no big deal. But uh, let's talk about a couple things, John Heffer. Okay. Um, a couple things. One, can, can we ahead. bring up uh, June 13, 14, 15, Charlotte, North Carolina? I, be, I feel be. you could help me put some people let's in, in there. We're, we're close gonna, enough. I will be that. in town. By the way, I want you to know something, John Heffer. This should this should go a long way. No, you're going to be in Charlotte, June. No, seventeen, eighteen, right? What'd you say? No. I think it's got a thirteen, fourteen, no, fifteen. Go look up his tour dates. Are they on your website? <laughs> uh, it's on. Should be on our. Is there a, a link on ours? Alan's looking at it right now. Uh, no. Oh, you're right. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. Yes, that's why I'm bringing it up for a reason. Yeah. I was offered a gig. I have that week off. I'm, I have no gig that weekend, mm -hmm. but I do have gigs before. Real quick, I'll be in St. Charles, Missouri. I'll be at the Blue Note in Columbia. I'll be at Rosemont Zanies. I'll be in Milwaukee. Tampa Side Splitters. All of June. But the one weekend I have off is the week that you're going to be in Charlotte. And I was offered a gig in California to go back mm -hmm. and do a gig. And I said no. Because my buddy John Hefford is going to be in Charlotte. And I'm planning to go see him. So show. I want you to know I turned money down. Nice. For you, nice. Uh, huh? Applause button, please. Thank you. Um, but yes, John Heffern, Comedy Zone, Charlotte, 
the third weekend in June. Let's get the butts in the seats. Let's get the word out. Let's roll out the, the red hospitality ginger carpet for my buddy. You know what I'm saying? Get the word out. Tell people. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes. Also, let's. you want to talk about monkeypox? Let's do it. You want to talk about George Carlin? I have not seen that thing. I don't even know what monkeypox are. Have you not even heard about it yet? I have not. All right. It's a new thing. Okay. You've heard of chicken pox. Chicken pox, correct. Chicken I pox just got my shingles shot yeah i got mine too how Personal. painful was that it was literally one maybe the most painful shot i've ever gotten in as far as the next day the, as far as two days later yeah. I, I was still like yeah <laughs> like doing this with, with that yeah. arm I, I out of all the shots i've ever gotten in my life that one well, i was told it's a bad one and it is and it is but going you, it doesn't hurt you have to get two though you got the one and a couple months later or a month well, i had a choice i the, the doctor said you can either get a covid booster mm-hmm or shingle shot, you can't do both because they're both anti uh, back. What, Wait, have you not got the first booster? I got is this two. The second booster? No, I, I had two shots. COVID. Yeah, but I was like, do I need a third? Performing a lot. Wait a second. I'm, all right, so let's back up. So the COVID shot typically is two shots, right? And then the booster is the third. So I many, got everyone I know. I got Johnson Johnson, which was just so one that's the shot. one shot. And then I got the then Moderna. Got, I got the booster. Okay. So I didn't know if I was supposed to get another one. So you've got a total of just two, two. Okay. So then I had a choice to make: do I get a third COVID or do I get a shingles? Because you can't do both. Yeah. And I went shingles. Shingles. Smart move. Yeah, but it hurt because uh, shingles doesn't care. Have you seen this commercial? Yeah, the commercial <laughs> scared me. But, yeah. but then you talk to people who have shingles and they go. Nothing hurts worse. Worse, right? So I, that's a good move. That's why I did it too. Yeah, because those commercials get to me. And my mom's mother, my grandma, that's she had shingles and it was not good. My dad's friend who's in Vietnam says, out of everything being shot and just everything that he's went through in his life, shingles were the was the worst. If he yeah. was to put everything on a list, what sucked worst, and it would it was shingles Vietnam. He was second. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so so, so I'm, I'm glad you did that. But monkey pox. Now you did you have chicken pox as a kid? Did you get like did you get high the, school? Yes, had it. Did Later your mom force you to get it? Like you know, that my little brother thing. had it, and nobody because my parents were uh, were divorced, so no, my mom or dad couldn't remember if I had it. Yeah, because they're like maybe you had it what when we were, the divorce was going on, and nobody remembered yeah. that. And my little brother, who's just like a little kid. You see kid. people with the shot. They've got the scar still. From I have. I, well, I have a smallpox. What. Well, Right right, so smallpox and is chicken pox is the, the same thing, right? No, it's different. Are you kidding me? Yeah. The, the one I have on my shoulder is this big circle with about yeah, 20 dots on it. Yeah. I don't know how, when I got that, if I walked in elementary school and they said, hey, there's pictures. Go, go in that room. And they shot me with that. <laughs> I don't know how bad that hurt for that still to be. My back fats covered it up a little, but for the most part, it's still on there. Wow. It's like this so, well, it's like yeah. you got hit by a paint. But I had no clue till just now that <laughs> chicken pox and smallpox were not basically the same thing. Mm -mm. I thought they just called them different things. Mm -mm. Like smallpox was a thing going around. Soda popper soda. Yeah. Smallpox is a thing going around. This is where we're getting flagged for giving out misinformation. Do you know anything about this, Elliot? Oh, smallpox used to kill people. Yeah. And then they got a vaccine, and then it went away. That's weird. That's so, right. but chicken pox is the mild version of smallpox. I don't believe so. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, monkeypox is a new one, all right? <laughs> so this is going around now, and it's just made its way in America. One, I think one or two people might have it, but it, they're saying if you've been vaccinated for other poxes before mm -hmm. <laughs> that you might be okay, or they, they know how to control it. But, but it's not like going to be um, – it's not transferred through the air. It's like – it's a sexual thing. So apparently, you know – We'll be fine, John, because we have yeah. ladies. We don't have to worry about it. But it makes me think, does someone have sex with a monkey? And is this related to AIDS? Isn't this how AIDS came about? Having sex with monkeys. I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, I'm still worried I'm about... I'm fine. Have you seen the pictures, though? It looked horrible. Yeah, it looks horrible. I'm uh, still worried about uh, uh, swine flu. Swine, SARS. monkey, chicken. Uh, bird flu. Bird flu. I, every time I get, clean up my bird feeders, I think I'm going to get bird flu, and I don't even know if that's how you get it. Uh, well, look at this, dude. Look at this guy. Is that monkey pox? Is that, looks like is that chicken, chicken pox. pox? That's what my... Well, I remember itching so bad when I, I was in high school when I got chicken pox, and I, I didn't know, so I, I thought to help, I would make a warm bath, mm -hmm. and I made a warm bath and maybe some 
suds or soap and laid in it. But I literally, all I did was open up every pore in my body to help to make the it chicken worse. pox spread. <laughs> spread right. To spread. Like, Get over more. here, guys. You're spreading yeah. around. Well, and, I, and then I picked at them on, on my on my head. I had them, and I just kept itching them and picking them off. So that's why I can never shave my head and go bald because there's probably scars. Oh, just talking about this make me itchy. <laughs> Let's move on. George Carlin. Oh, did you want to say something? I uh, know, sir. You're leaning in. I can't tell sometimes with the mask on. I can't tell if you're wanting to talk to me or not. Well, no. Someone wanted to know uh, on the ride back if there was weed involved. So I think we can both attest that there wasn't. No, no yeah. weed involved. No, no weed. It was Arby's. Right. Arby's is not weed though. Weed. No. What do you mean weed? Weed. I thought it meant like, like. Po- we they stopped. Did you stop to get Arby's? I stopped. Yeah, it was super yeah. quick. Oh, nice. But that's not weed. Weed isn't marijuana. Is what he's talking. Yeah, about. that's yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, monkeypox done. George. By the way, uh, yeah. at Arby's, uh, there so was a woman. Get? I got my regular uh, roast, roast beef, beef, and then there's a woman who asked the lady behind the counter for a job application. And the woman said, just go to Arby's.com. And then the woman said, can you write that down for me? <laughs> I don't, right. I'm just curious Automatically, to see how it's going to work. No, no, yeah. And then no the thank woman you. goes, it's, it's on the receipt. We don't think you're Arby's material. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's hilarious. It's on the receipt. <laughs> yeah, but can you um, read it to me? Can you give me a device? To look it up. So let me ask your opinion on George Carlin, John Heffern. You know, when you talk to other comedians and you and you and, and the subject comes up, who is some of your favorite comedians? Who are some of your influences? I feel like ninety five percent of every comedian says George Carlin. What say you? I first uh, first cassettes my mom ever got me of stand up cassettes, mm-hmm. not albums. Cassettes was the first one was George Carlin plays for my stuff. Yes. Very first one. So I, I listen to that straight through, and there are a couple questionable things where I asked my mom. Mm-hmm. Um, That's and, a great and special. She explain, uh, that, and it was also Steve Mar- uh, Martin. Mm-hmm. This is before Eddie Murphy came out with Hit, so right. it wasn't. But those were, so I remember just thinking. You remember oh, stuff. That yeah. was one of his things, yeah. Because in that whole thing, he's basically yeah. saying, my things are my stuff yours is shit shit. yeah 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 then then you gotta go and move stay the weekend and you bring more more of your stuff (laughs) but there's so much shit here it's a great special i love here's what i will say about george carlin i love dude obviously on the mount rushmore of one of the greatest to ever live yes now but he's always been it's always he's taken peaks and valleys there there are times you know his younger career yeah uh, yeah. Well, as he got older, he got more cynical, and and rightly so. That just happens. Um, he kind of lost me at the end. Uh, at the end, I was watching him, and I was agreeing with him. Yeah. But I wasn't laughing. Right. And that's. I think my my thing is, if you're a comedian, the ultimate goal is laughter. And if you're not doing that, then maybe you're doing something else, and that's fine. So to me, I it remember- wasn't. I, I still put him up there as some of the best because of his stuff before the end of his career. His stuff, every time whatever's going on politically, they always show clips of him, and he was just such a like fortune teller. Or, oh, it's st- yes. or, or it still applies. No. 100%. I, uh, in 2005 ish, when podcasting wasn't even a thing, there was this thing called Now Live, was the company, and it had a studio just like you have here. Mm-hmm. And they had people you can call in, and you would have these live internet radio shows. It's Nobody was podcasting. It was wow. this weird thing. And I called mine Class Clown. Oh. Just because comic and his his people got a hold of me and said you can't use. Oh. Because he has an album, Class his, Clown. I, I, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I never knew this. Yeah. Do you have... Uh, can I see this anywhere? I don't even. I don't even think it's anywhere. Yeah, but it was. Uh, but it's it got to be somewhere. And then he was at the Comedy Magic Club. So that was just one. I, I think maybe even Richard from Comedy Magic Club said, "Hey, they're trying to get a hold of you. They're, you're using a name wow. that's of one of his albums." That's crazy. And I'm like, "Well, sue my high school because I was voted class clown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can sue my yeah. yearbook committee." Uh, but he was in the green room at the Comedy Magic Club. Uh, and obviously you couldn't go back there. You know, normally that green room, you everybody. can just go in there. Except yeah. the one time, Daniel Tosh was in there and wouldn't let me in. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> uh, it has dogs in him. Oh, Carlin's dogs? No. Tosh. Tosh. Yeah. yeah. And I, uh, so I 
what sat in the room that had the uh, <laughs> lockers of all the tax stuff. Was he working on something though? I mean, I, I, I don't you know, know. Here's the thing: I'll give those guys a pass if they're like, "All right, I'm cramming for this special. I've got to get this yeah. out. I need this room to focus on what I'm about to do." But who, but at the Comedy Magic Club, you're not allowed to do that. Like in any other club, yeah. But in in those oh, places, okay. don't you think it's not? Uh, it's all. But anyway, so I've he, only been there once or twice. Oh, to that he, one. Um, but. Carlin was in there and he rehearsed his entire hour before he did his hour. Rehearsed it where? In the green room. Just by himself? Just, yeah. Just See, this memorized is what, I, it. I, I do like that about him, though. And just did it. Because he's a wordsmith. Yeah. Like, he, I loved some of my favorite things about Carlin was his attention to definitions of words, meaning of words, and, and it's just how they flow. And there's kind of like poetry. Um, it, but also in this documentary, there was a, you because know, he there were times where he was kind of a big deal, and then he kind of slept off. Like Second City was making fun of him. Like, why why is there no green wine? There's green grapes. How come we don't have green wine? So they were like making fun of him for being that kind of guy because it got so popular. Wow. That the cool kids were making fun of him. And then yeah. he went down and he got mad and he came back. But he, dude, had a, he had a lot of. It's a very, very good, interesting documentary on HBO Max. You should check it out. It. You need to watch it. Yeah. As a comedian, you have to watch it. Because he was super clean before all that. He was like super, super oh, yeah. clean guy. Fresh, and, clean, oh, and they go all the way back to his history. The guy was in the Air Force. Jeez. Yeah. He had a brutal upbringing, too. And his brother's hilarious. His brother was like on the documentary, and he's hilarious. Huh. It's a great documentary. I, I I know you'll love it. You know, it's just historic. Um, real quick, it's already 821. We try to do an hour. We've got about nine minutes Dude, left. So I know much. it flies by. This needs to happen more often. I know. Like, I always watch the uh, podcast on YouTube. And I'm like, oh, look at the, the lighting. Yeah, this is not even. We've. Um, is there anything inter- I know you're leaning in again like you want to say something? Well, someone wants to know if he has any of those uh, cutting boards with him because they'll meet him down the road. They'd like to buy some. <laughs> That's, trust he doesn't me. travel with cutting boards. Oh, although, li- literally, I, I probably should. Um, uh, I'm working on a coaster for you. Can we talk about this coaster? I got. I, I do. Uh, if you want to do it off. Yeah, I have an idea for the coaster. Though. All right, it's fine. But he- here's the thing I'm worried about with the coasters because they are heavy. And I'm going to make these coasters for you and Reno. Do I send them to your house or do I look at your calendar and send them to the venues you're going to so you don't have to travel? As a lazy guy, uh, I would say drop ship to the venue. To the venue and I I take back any extra. But then you have to remember that they're there waiting for you and you have to go tell someone, I should have coasters here. Yeah, can you You put them out? And they're like, what? We don't even know. So I'm trying to to make this the easiest thing for you. So, But you just told me, drop ship them to the place. Okay, I'll do that. And then I'll remind you. John, you're in Phoenix. Yeah. Please go to the office and tell them that you have. Yeah. You know what I used to do with those is is but like it's this right here, you know. This yeah, little, yeah, yeah. But you're gonna have yours. Dude, I, I have a suitcase full of those and your masks still at my house. We did our bowling thing this time last year. Oh wow, it's been a year. This weekend or next weekend we did no kidding. Hickory, uh, Ann Arbor, and then wow. the bowling things. Um, all right, I got. So you flew today. What airline were you on? Delta. It was an okay experience, other than the it's, guy flicking plaque it, on you. It's full. Um, <laughs> oh, so oh, we have yeah. to watch this. Watch this. So this just happened, right? United Airlines, a brawl broke out. Um, so I'll, I'll give you a little backstory. Apparently, the uh, the passenger, who by the way was an ex NFL player, um, used to play for the Broncos. He was like a cornerback. Forgot his name, but he grabbed a wheelchair and was using that as a cart for his luggage instead of paying for the cart. You know how you have to <laughs> swipe your card to get the cart? Yeah, yeah. I, I, now I look at that and go, that's baller genius move, but you're not allowed to do that. Yeah, yeah. There's, 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 wheelchairs there's, are there's for people who can't etiquette. walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this dude just grabbed one, and maybe this this uh, United Airlines employee confronted him. And this is what happened. Let's just watch it and react to it, the Alan Jackson. Oh, he did the Will Smith smack. Yeah. All right, dude. Now he's coming for it. Now he's coming. He, yeah, but that's dumb. He's leaning in. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he just smacked. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's extra. 
put a priority tag on him. <laughs> he's wobbly. Look at him. He's got blood coming out of his eye. And he goes and back. He goes back. Yeah. You want to please hit him. God, this guy. The, the United guy has the heart, but he doesn't have the skill. No. He, should, he shouldn't have. have he he started it. They're saying the first physical confrontation was him slapping him first, which happens in the first half second of this video. And then that guy retaliates. And then he slaps him again. So it started from the very beginning, Alan, and watch. You'll see at the very beginning, the United guy swings first. So if you're swinging first. Oh, wait. First, I didn't see that part. Yeah, I thought, okay, yeah, let's watch. Because it let's... happened in the very first okay. half a second. Right. Now, now play it, Leon Jackson. Watch. Bam. Right there. And oh. then he hit him back. So that, that, that confrontation happened in the first half second. Okay. Bam, bam. Yeah, the United guy did it. You are so. So everything after that is the United guy's fault. And if, if the the passenger guy knew how to fight, I mean, he's he throwing punches. He's an athlete. He's an expert. Yeah, but athlete. but he he would have. Oh, right there. He would have knocked that guy. Who? You, you don't put your hands on like that and go, "Come on, you're gonna get smacked like that hard." <laughs> it's like the United guy was thinking, "Oh, I know how to fight. I'm a big dude. Yeah, I'm gonna scare thing. him with this wall cup like this." Yeah. And he goes, "Really?" Yeah, and he's, uh, he's upside down. That's like me learning how to play a video game where I'm the United guy, where I don't know the controllers yet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to R or want and put your hands You're the up. Doing like yeah, that. yeah. I'm, and, then, and then the guy just smacks me right off the bat. Yeah. Your, your character's doing this. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, so I wonder if that guy's gonna sue United. Uh, probably. Right, because the United guy hit him first. Right. <laughs> but but yeah. So look, he broke the rules. You're not so allowed to take a wheelchair, but you're also not allowed to swing on your. You're not allowed to stuff. smack people anymore. We're, we're going to a phase. One of the first rules I remember, I you just learn as a human is to keep your hands to yourself. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. Don't have me no lines. And, 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 and keep your hands to yourself. Join maybe don't be in the pool. Stop hitting your sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Yeah. And, and do your homework and brush your teeth. But, yeah, so it's that's what's going on in the airports. I'm glad you avoided that. I'm glad that you didn't swing on the guy who flicked. I've almost I've gotten in, in a few. Uh, it's always dudes trying to take cuts. So that's such a dumb way to get in a fight. Like but cut line? Yeah, with yeah. a cut in front of you. Yeah. Like they don't see you standing there. Oh, that almost the entitled that happened people. to me. Where were we? Me and Jody were somewhere. Where were we? I forgot. It doesn't matter. There was a lady's, like, it was unclear. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, like maybe it was three different tellers or something, and you're not sure. Is there supposed to be three lines? Or are we doing one line, and yeah. then we wait, and then they go to the teller, or whatever it is. But I got behind a person, and I'm standing there, and this lady comes and stands next to me. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't know what her plan is, but I am behind this guy. Yeah. And then we keep moving forward, and she just keeps going next to me. And, and I told Jody, he's like, see this lady? It's going to be interesting how this ends because I'm not going to let her get in front of me. Yeah. Or I'll, I'll look at her and go like, am I invisible today? Yeah. Sometimes I'm invisible. I don't know it. I'm very passive aggressive. Yeah, yeah. I and see. it's a lady I wasn't going to hit her. But. You should do my little trick. Uh, one, I was with Michelle. I for forgot where we were going a couple weeks ago. Almost got in a fight. A guy came through clear. That's the little system where you can. It's like a pre-check. for. I use. Do you have it? No, I do pre-check. No, you got to get clear. It's a whole pre check works great for me. I never have a problem with clear. You even get to take cuts, but clear's not everywhere, it's almost everywhere. Well, it doesn't I'll help send you a free pass anyway. Okay. So, a guy comes and he just opens up the little uh gate thingy and mm -hmm. walks in, doesn't go to clear, doesn't even go to TSA. And well, somebody uh, goes, Hey, 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 you can't just do that. He's like, I'm gone, and nobody stopped him. Really? TSA and the clear people let this guy, and just, it wasn't an employee or anything. Well, no, j just this. Guy, this older guy, just did it and put us up. So then we're at the a lounge, and uh, Michelle's in front of him, and like you know maybe somebody when you got to scan your ticket in, that person leaves, and Michelle's waiting right there, and then she's about to step. He takes his hand and gives her a little push forward so she could speed up her walking towards the thing. So I didn't see that part. So then we're up there. She goes, that asshole guy that's on there, like, Touched literally me. almost pushed me. So he's in line going through the, like, breakfast thing. So he's coming, uh, right, oh. say, uh, right to left, let's say, and there's plates kind of right in front of him. So I reach down, and I grab the plates, and then I stand up, and he's nose to nose. 
He goes, I'm going that way. And I go, you fucking walk around me. <laughs> and we're just staring. And I go, yeah, move along. I, I start doing this. Yeah. I go, move along like that. And then he huffed and puffed and he said something. And I go, I go you act. I go, that's a good impression of my seven-year-old daughter. I don't have a seven-year-old daughter, but wow. I just needed it, it's something that would make you huff and puff wow. as a grown man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, those yeah, dudes yeah, yeah. that got those cuffs on their shirts that have all that bullshit coloring. Those guys are dicks. What do you mean? Like the, cuff the cufflinks that you fold are the cuffs of your shirt. All the way up here? Yeah, you like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you're down here. Yeah, yeah. That, the, you yeah. ever see those ones that are really decorated? Uh -huh. like when they go oh, like yeah. That's a dude. The underlining that's of That's a type yeah. of dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's an asshole. Yeah. And he wears okay, the, I'm going to pay attention to that now. And he wears the, I see that the dress shoes with uh -huh. no socks that are those flats. Yep. They're, they're slippers. They're. Yeah. they're Snow White slippers. They're not. Uh, they're not hey dudes, but they're they're sperry. Sperry. They're That's, expensive. Yeah, they're expensive. Okay, we got to wrap this up, but I want to share one thing with you real quick, John. Okay. We, you and I, have a thing about footwear. And I'm glad we brought this up. You like Crocs. Oh, yeah. I don't like Crocs. Mm -hmm. I like hey dudes. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's see what you got here. What is this? What are we looking at? I got these new ones. Now I noticed you just slipped it off without untying your shoe. Yeah, I even have I have compression socks on now because I'm old. Yeah, and regular socks. Um, you have two pairs of socks on. I have two pairs of socks. On. <laughs> Is this just for flying? All the way up to my knees. Just for flying? Uh, Is this every day? Oh, here we go. Oh my God! Look at this guy. You walk around this man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That shows I'm ready. You walk around him. Um, I like it. But can I show you yeah. something? Now, you should be that out of tire. That you're out of breath. That. Okay. You, which you need to do DDPY with your wife. And uh, your shoes have laces, but you didn't really, you, you took it off without untying yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How often do you tie the shoe? Does it always stay there? Do I you ever like I, uh, redo it? Some not. That, no, I, I know how to do it now. I got you. No, but I got you. <laughs> Check this out. Now, this looks like they're laces, but they're not. I bought these plastic things. See on the inside of it? It's like um, you stick it in there. Yeah. Oh, man, I'll take it off. <laughs> now, it's a pain in the butt getting them in there, but I never have to tie these shoes again. Everybody, welcome it to Shoelace Talk. Every week we'll be talking about rubber, shoes. Rubber. It's like a rubber band. It's a rubber band, but you put it in there, and it, it, it makes like a knot so it won't go through. And I never have to tie these again. And, then, and I may, basically made these into hey dudes. So they slip on and slip off. I don't have to tie my Where shoe Where do you anymore. get those, those things? I bought these at like a shoe carnival place. They was just waiting in line. I looked over. I'm like, what is this? No. And it's like a plastic little band. And they come in different shapes and sizes. And you wouldn't have known that those are not uh, shoelaces, right? I'm, I want them sold. And I slip them on and off. Can we put them on uh, .com yeah. as a as a product? And you notice I'm not out of breath when I... I know, because you do that. No, what we should do is we, should, we could do it with your guy. And then also... With Michelle, we should do a virtual laugh your mats off. Okay. We could do it virtually. Oh, yes. We could do it virtually. Let's do this. Where everyone can sign up. They can do it. We'll do it live on, on, on Sundays. We'll, we'll pick a time where we're both home. But, dude, that could be like a new podcast where we have a guest. Mm -hmm. So it's me, you, another comic. And they do. And then everybody else can, can zoom in and actually work out with us. Yeah, we'll just put them on mute, and they just, they're just they just there. And they can and work we'll, out, but we'll be able to talk. I like that. It's going to be embarrassing because I'm very unflexible. Oh, I'm, I'm the worst. Yeah, I'm pretty bad. Yeah. Um, all right, John Heffern, welcome to Hickory, North Carolina once again. Thanks for coming in here. Good luck with your corporate gig at Sheets. Uh, Elliot has his hand raised. Yes, uh, our good friend Poe wanted me to say hello specifically to uh, Mr. Heffern. Oh, well, there you go. Mission accomplished. All right, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, we were talking about him, right? Not who's your good friend, Poe? Yeah. Uh, okay. The guy that made that sign there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, hopefully, is he watching right now? Uh, yes. Oh, very good. Thanks, buddy. Um, all right, we've got to wrap this up. Any final thoughts before I forget anything? Nope. This is great. I'm having a good time. Go to countryish.com. I'm sorry. Hereford and Reap. I'm so used to saying same, that. Same difference. Table. Go to hereford and Reap.com. Become a supporter of this podcast. 
All right. I know and you do this as a segment of your thing. I'm going to go. You want to play? $42. You want to crack one open? I'm going to go. Uh, it seems like a $4. I just did I one. think this one's a big one, dude. I think what's. I, I bet you this one's two. Hold on. I, I saw 218 or 220. Here, let's do it. I got a lot. Are you sure? I don't want to. Yeah, here, let me do it. Well, you can just put it back in the envelope. No one will know. I'm going to open it up down here. We're going to play this tomorrow on Country Ish live with you guys. I don't, wanna, I don't want that. But I'm playing I it with Hefer. Shows. I got so many, dude. They're just sitting there. We need to get rid of them. Should we give it to somebody or something? Maybe. I want you to play it. This is for one episode of Eastbound and Down, Chapter 23. Uh, electronic sell through is the market. Eastbound and Down, electronic sell through, nice. one episode. Uh, no, this is for John. How much is this check? Um, well, I originally I, I saw the number two eighteen or two twenty in my head when I did that. So that, I think that's in, entirely way too high. It is, but that's when you the say two hundred eighteen dollars. I, I felt like it was a big, like a big chunk. Jump down to a one digit. I'll, I'll give you a hint. Um, there was a, uh, a, a a cleaner that you would spray on surfaces to. To clean the four oh nine four dollars and seven cents, John Herfron. That is yours. Congratulations, my friend. Can we write the. Can I? Can I use? I'll this sign and it put to this you. in my account. Yeah, literally take a picture of it. Well, what I'll do is I'll I'll endorse it and send it to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to send it to you. I'll just hand it to you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I should ask him what are you going to do with all that cash. That's what we do. Oh, I was going to ask you this okay. on Twitter. I took a poll. Okay. And I said, "How do you see me? Do you see me as the Hemi guy?" Do you see me as the last comic standing champ like this guy? Do you see me as that guy from Hickory? Or do you see me as the guy from Harold and Kumar 2? What do you think most people said? Uh, now, they're going to be your fans. Right. This so, is just Twitter on Long Island. Twitter. So I'm going to guess if I do that, they're going to see you as the Hickory guy. But I would say out of you, you're the, the Hemi guy's got to win. Dude, your first instinct is correct. 53.1% people said that guy from Hickory. Coming last in, comic, I, I don't want <clears throat> to say zero. It's like coming in last, second was Hemi guy. Yeah, third place, last comic standing, and then Harold and Kumar too. Hmm. So yeah, interesting poll. It's fun to put polls up on Twitter. You can't do it on Facebook anymore. I uh, um I need followers. By the way, please go to Community John Heffern on Instagram. I have I'm like fifty people short of four thousand, and it's bugging me. And I've got no you. You have like eighty thousand. I looked on what on, Twitter on uh, Instagram. Oh, Instagram. I have in Twitter. I can't lose or gain five people, no matter what I do. I don't know what's going. Is, I, is Elon Musk going to buy I, it? I don't know. I can't lose or gain. So Instagram. If you're bored, go over there. I don't go post to his a Instagram. Lot. Follow this guy. He's very comedian funny. John Heffern. Thanks, so friend. Get to know the guy. Don't flick stuff on him though. If you see him in an airport. Yeah. Don't All right. For uh, the Alan Jackson. For Elliot the intern. For. John Hefford, I'm John Reap, and uh, you've been watching Hefford and Reap, and uh, we'll wish you a bicycle. <laughs>